Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope your day has been going well. Uh, today we are going to be doing our uh, readings from, of course, number one, the Spirit Animal Oracle, which I know I've explained in the past. I usually start off with this deck to let me know what sort of spirit animals that we have around. And then the uh, other... Um, spread that I'm going to be doing it comes from the intuitive night goddess tarot and they're very beautiful beautiful cards just to kind of give you an idea this is the spirit of Pentacles gorgeous artwork and these are the backs of the cards um, I don't know if you can see it very well with the camera so yeah, there's like little sparkles back there so the spread that I'm going to be doing uh, I found uh, um, really just with this deck, um, with the guidebook that came with it, it's based off of the seven main chakras. So maybe this might help uh, with giving you all some insights on what may be going on. Maybe you're feeling misaligned or something like that, or maybe having difficulties uh, getting aligned or, or what have you. Maybe this might uh, give you some clarification, okay? So from let's dive in. The Spirit of the Animal Oracle, I did have a couple of cards that popped out, but I didn't feel like that they were part of the reading. I felt like they were more messages directly for, uh, t uh, towards me. So I, I went ahead and put them back into the deck, um, and uh, one of the cards actually did come back. So I'll let you know which one that is. First one up from the bottom of the deck was the 49 card, the Rabbit Spirit. Now is a lucky time. Little funny bunny there and I used to have a funny bunny that's why I call them funny bunnies <laughs> I've had a fun a few funny bunnies actually uh, the second card that came out um, was actually one the the one I was just talking about that popped out during um, the shuffling the 23 card Eagle spirit spirit has your back nice bald eagle there wearing a crown and then the number 50 card the rhino spirit overcome any obstacle all right, and when I was shuffling the deck for the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot, uh, the number eight card, strength, the strength card came out. Okay, and the position of the root chakra, the number 15 card, it, the reclamation card. This is um, in the traditional Rider Waite Tarot deck, this would be the devil. And in the position of the sacral chakra, the queen of pentacles. And the solar plexus uh, position, the number eight card, eight, eight of pentacles, all about mastery. And uh, the and for the uh, heart chakra, the number two card, the high priestess. For the throat chakra, which is kind of interesting, um, uh, the basically the queen of cups. Wearing all that blue, you know, with the throat chakra being indicated by blue. And for your third eye chakra there, the Warrior of Wands. And for your crown chakra, the number seven cards, seven of wands. Okay, so basically what this is all telling me is there there is some sort of obstacle that need that you're having issues with, quite possibly with your chakras, maybe having difficulties getting them aligned, figuring out you know what it um, what is going on and so forth. Maybe you're new to it, maybe you're having difficulties with meditations or something like that. Highly recommend the L uh, Ultimate Guide to Chakras by uh, Dr. Athena Paracas. Very good book. Um, highly recommend that one to you. Okay, but the main thing to remember to keep in mind is that it is a lucky time. If you're if you are having an issues with overcoming some sort of an obstacle, whether it's your chakras or or maybe something else in your life, now really is a very very lucky time because spirit does have your back. Spirit has always got your back. That's why it's always a lucky time, okay? So take heart. Have have strength. Go inward, figuring out where your strength is, okay? It could be your solar plexus. It, it could be from your heart, it, you know? Um, it, it could be your intuition. Maybe you're having issues with getting grounded. 
reclaim that. Stand your ground, okay? Reclaim your own personal power, okay? And nurture yourself. Queen of Pentacles is all about nurturing. Nurture yourself. Your sacral chakra isn't just about your source of creativity. It's also a, a source for nurturing. So remember, nurture yourself, okay? And you are uh, rising. The Queen of Pentacles here, being right here where your solar plexus is, you are rising. You are, are, are building your mastery of helping yourself get that balance and so forth and getting your, all your chakras al aligned. So in that way you can overcome all of those obstacles that you're dealing with on a daily basis, that we all deal with on a daily basis, all of the, all, all of the stressors and so forth, and doing our best to stay positive as much as possible, okay? High Priestess, very, very good position for her to be at right here with the um, heart chakra. Because this really is the source of our intuition. Yeah, you may feel your intuition uh, tr being triggered in different places. I know I feel mine a lot down here in the sacral chakra. But really, it's right here. You have to turn off this, the brain, to find in order to be able to follow your heart, to be able to listen to your heart to, as to what it is that your heart is trying to tell you, okay? So yeah, intuition, when you think of intuition, not just here, but also here in your heart, okay? You basically, your your higher self is, is, is speaking to you through your heart. But when you are um, speaking and so forth, have some empathy whether you're speaking outward to somebody else or more importantly having empathy with yourself okay that's what the queen of cups is all about being empathetic uh, and compassionate and so forth speak it when you're speaking it make sure that you are doing it from a place of empathy and compassion and like i said not just outward to other people but more importantly to yourself okay warrior of wands right here in the um uh, third eye chakra, very very important. Being headstrong, going and 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 going forward with following your your intuition, what your third eye is telling you. Basically, the pineal gland uh, right here, or excuse me, pineal. Sorry, pineal gland right here. It's very very important that you do follow that and not what is going on inside your brain. Okay. And make sure you stand your ground, being headstrong with following that intuition. And then um, last, definitely not least, with the Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands is about resilience, standing your ground. Right here with, with, uh, with your crown chakra, um, with it being associated with your crown chakra, stand your ground. Maybe you, you're listening to other people a little bit too much, telling you, or, or even yourself telling you that, Hey, you know this. This isn't kosher. You know, I, I, you know, but what's happening to me is, is, is bumpkiss. <laughs> Great word there. You know, things like that. Maybe you're just listening a little bit too much up here. Maybe listening to what people are telling you instead of standing your ground and knowing what it is that spirit here is telling you. So have strength standing against those negative opposing forces okay so our numbers um for today spirit of the animal oracle is five all about change so definitely overcoming obstacle but don't worry about it because spirit has your has your back it is a very lucky time okay and then as far as the intuitive night goddess number is six so being at six, being uh, all about the home environment and so forth. This, this right here, this body, this is, is this vessel is your home, is your spirit's home. So with, with the two combined, it makes a lot of sense, especially when you add the two numbers up together, five and six, make an eleven. Okay, so I hope this resonates with you. If you like this video, be sure to like and 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 subscribe to my channel. Click on those alert buttons and that way you know when I'm posting something new, okay? I greatly appreciate you. I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. I love you. Mm -hmm.